Hey Sam here and welcome to this demo of Video Wiz. This is a video software that allows you to be able to create videos that go within a player, but it allows you to embed a number of calls to actions or even monetize those videos with AdSense accounts over the top of them, okay? This is all either outside of YouTube or you can use a YouTube link video. You can either upload your own, depending on what package you have, or just use a YouTube video. So in this demo, I'm gonna take you a quick walk through through the software, show you how easy it is to grab a uh, video and be able to lay things over it and customize that video to be able to capture leads, uh, maybe redirect off to a URL, or even personalize the video using name and geolocation tags. So here we are on the dashboard. Uh, not a lot happening, because I've only just uh, had a play around with a demo project and uploaded a few little things. So uh, as you can see, a whole bunch of different stats, but let's just jump straight into it and we'll click on projects and create a new project okay so what we can do is uh, I've already got one here I just go create project and I'll call this the uh, the demo video sample because this is the demo video I can put in the uh, description just say for our bonus page review cool now you can upload an image of the product or whatever in case you are running a specific campaign based on whatever you you know whatever you're doing a certain software a certain list a certain brand so I'm just going to use my own personal logo here and just put that there and click create so you can see it I even did it in the other one which I played around it okay so once we have this here we can add a video into it or we can uh, edit things right from here just by clicking manage. Uh, basically because we don't have a video in it we have to start from scratch so it takes us through step by step so we just go add video once we've done that if we have the right account this is a basic account uh, we can upload the video from our computer and have it hosted on video was uh, because I don't have that sort of account I've just got the base one here I'm going to upload it from a URL from YouTube so I can select the project so demo video sample uh, I can either choose an mp4 link say if it's hosted on Amazon S3 or from YouTube so I'm going to jump into YouTube I'm just going to uh, search something I own I'm going to write in my name just some footage from uh, you know us just playing around we can do what have we got we got some racing car stuff here so we'll just use that we'll use the Porsche video we'll copy the link to that video and we're going to paste that in there okay if I click the search button it then comes up with the video so I click select video make sure that's the one I want and here we go we're in at the demo this back to the uh, the page here where we are as we can see no stats okay so what sort of things can we do well first let's jump into we'll jump into settings okay I just want to show you something because what you can do is you can either use opt-in uh, you can use opt-in forms to capture leads and you can also use the name and location data from your mailer to be able to personalize your video. So you're going to want to integrate your autoresponder. So you can integrate MailZingo, which is done by these same guys. You've got MailChimp, GetResponse, Aweber, uh, ActiveCampaign, SendLane, a whole bunch of the leading ones as well. You can also uh, integrate your webinar accounts and things like that as well to allow you to be able to personalize your videos to your audience. Okay, so this is a big uh, catch, you know, selling point with video was so keep that in mind as we do that. So you can integrate all of that sort of stuff uh, in there. So let's go back into our video. So we're going to videos. Here we go. We got uh, we got this one here from our top campaign. I've actually used the same from from my demo one and uh, from the one below. So I'm going to click manage. So now here we are in the manage dashboard for the video. So here we go, we got the video detail. It's just pulled all the content from YouTube, okay? We can categorize this because if it's hosted on, you know, on video whiz, we can have it kept in a category. Let's just work over from left to right and have a look at some of the features, what you can do with the video. So I'm gonna click on the customize tab. Okay, so here we are. We can choose the type of player we want it to have. So this is the little play button down the bottom, the tracker down the bottom, uh, and the full screen thing. So we can, uh, you know, we can click on each one, just click preview, and it's gonna swap it out in here. So as we can see, once you got this, the tracker down the bottom is a little bit different. If I hit play, you can see we don't have a little ball rolling along the bottom. Now, if we do choose, let's say star mark, this looks like it's like a blue, Oh, yellow and yellow sort of theme we can choose this we click play as you can see we've got a progress bar and yellow down there so there's a few different ways to be able to customize this let's have a look at frame this is if we want to put it inside a you know a laptop or something like that to go on our website uh, make it display nice and cool whole bunch of frames tablets things like that thumbnail 
If we go back over here, we can uh, change out the thumbnail by uploading a different image in case you want to, especially if you are doing viral sort of videos and you want an eye-catching thumbnail, you can put that in as well. And of course, you can edit out a subtitle as well uh, to put in. So we can do that if you wanted to. Now, over to the interesting stuff. Ad, app, or advertise. So if we do a demo uh, one here, what we can do is we can have different types of apps for capturing leads. So if we go down here, we got lead uh, boxes, uh, which we can have an opt-in form uh, to be able to opt-in to our website, okay? So this will force a lead app. Uh, you can also force uh, social sharing, by being able to put social sharing over the top as well. Uh, all you do is select the template you want. Uh, let's just choose this one and I'll just call this demo title. Okay, I'll choose this option. And once it loads up, here it is here, okay? So what we can do is we can customize this within this. So I can say demo text, uh, please share this video. So you can do all this sort of stuff. Can we swap out the background image? If I go image, there we go, upload. I could probably see if it puts in my image within there. There it is. Yeah, so you can even swap out the background image. You can change out the background color uh, to suit, you know, whatever you're doing online. Look, looks like we've uh, gone outside. Oh, it's got border width and things like that. So we can change it all up as much as we want and uh, edit things out. So here we go. Uh, so you can customize the pop-up uh, share video side side of things okay uh, you can change the text you can change the colors you can change the image and you can add that into your video to show up right away okay so you can either have it show up right away or we can have it show up say three seconds into the video now if I do this and I click preview this is going to show an example of an inside video whiz so there it is it's popped up please share this video and we don't have an ability to skip until a certain amount of time and then I can exit out of the pop-up and carry on with the video Pretty cool. This is an example of what it looks like within Video Wiz Player. You can also embed it into your website as well or even into your emails. Let's keep going through here before I show you some of that sort of stuff. So here we go. Annotations. These are quite good. You can use these as a call to action as well. So you can see, uh, see my official website here. Okay. We can just call it that. Uh, we can select an ad type. We can either have an image, a clickable image. Okay, which uh, links to a different URL, or we can just simply have text. Okay, uh, we can change out the text, so we can make the text color red. Uh, we can make the background color just white, for example. Uh, we can call this. Uh, we have the title over here. So see my official website here, and then we can put their website. We just go samrobinson.com. Okay. And we can add in the action we want this to show up let's just say six seconds into our video so if i add this action it's going to add it in okay now if i click preview video it didn't show up because i forgot to put in the description so uh my website so we put in the description okay we have the link off again and we click add action cool so we click preview So it showed the pop-up, we can skip that, I'm going to let it play out for a few seconds, and then our annotation should show up here below. Here it is, so it's just the basic text with a description, so you can have a different sort of text. We click that, and that should take me through to my website, just like we described. So here it is, it's loading up. Perfect. So that's a good way to be able to just even use text or an image to be able to refer off to another website. Okay, now, now let's get into some really interesting stuff. Personalization. This is something that you can use to be able to uh, personalize the videos for your viewers from your mailing list. If you're mailing specific offers, things like that, this is for you. So what you do is you basically uh, just have an action name. So we'll just call this one demo. You can have the start time. So the personalization shows up whenever you can select when it shows on your screen, it'll show up as text. So we can do top right. And then what we can do is add your content here. So we can go welcome. And then we click name, sort of pull the name details. Okay, uh, thanks for visiting from, and then you can put in the geolocation. Okay, so 
Uh, basically, oh, we have to add the end time, so it'll show up for a certain amount of time. Let's make it 10 seconds. We'll go add action. Okay. Now, the thing with this is because I haven't embedded it into my uh, into my email with the unique link, it's not going to show the details. But as we can see up the top, it just has the text there as we as we had just written it uh, with that. However, if we do embed it, it will say welcome. Say for example, Sam, thanks for visiting from Auckland, New Zealand. Okay. Now. How you uh, go about embedding this sort of stuff is if we go over into the embed inline, okay, and what we can do is there's uh, embed things for your website, but if you go personalize email link, you use this link depending on your, uh, depending on your autoresponder that you have, uh, s that you have synced up, okay, so if we use, let's just say for example, Aweber, this is going to, is going to put, you put in your video URL here, and then it's going to give you a CTA link which has the code. So this is going to pull their name and their location, like we just discussed, to be able to create specific videos for people from your um, from your mailing list. Okay, so that's how you do that side of things. You can customize it. Uh, you can make it public. You can lock the video, make it uh, password protected if you want as well. And you can also add a whole bunch of different stuff, such as banners and things like that. Uh, AdSense banners to be able to monetize your videos as well. You can easily swap in and out the videos like Vimeo. Uh, replace video. You can upload a new one. We'll just use the uh, from the URL. Or if we go back, we'll go back again because we're stuck in the video part. Uh, we can check out the stats or just even download our video creation as well. Stats is quite a good little insight. Uh, when we're in here, we can see how many views and how many plays. So it's been viewed three times, only played once uh, today for our videos because I've just been playing our demos. Location, you can see where everyone's uh, locating it from around the world because this is a new video. We haven't had any views yet, except for me and New Zealand probably. Uh, you can see what devices people are on. So there's a lot of insight. Uh, so we can see what operating system. I'm on a desktop device, uh, Mac, Mac desktop device. And we can even compare some of our project stats uh, you know, to be able to see sort of what sort of uh, stats are head to head in case you're doing some split testing things like that as well. Lots of training in the software. It's a nice smooth software. Uh, the only bit of this video I edited out was when I messed up the, uh, the link call to action. Other than that, everything you've seen in terms of uploading, editing, playing around is all in real time. Uh, it's quite a nice, tidy, reliable software. So if you're looking to be able to personalize videos and be able to add in names, geolocations into videos, this is for you. If you want to monetize it using AdSense, uh, this is for you as well. If you want to lock content or just jazz up your videos on your site, this is a nice little video software for you as well. And it actually represents quite good value for the money it is during the launch period. So to get it at the max discount, check out all the details down below on this bonus page. When it goes live at 9 a.m. Eastern time on 4th of August, click that Get Access Now link. It'll be discounted with a coupon uh, for the early bird period only. If you are on here after the early bird, don't worry, do click through. Uh, the pricing is still very sharp during launch. Then after launch, it will shift to a higher monthly cost. Okay, so this is Video Wiz. Hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of the software. Please check out the sales video. Please, please check out the sales page and all the details on this bonus page to find out a bit more about the software that I couldn't cover in a quick demo. It's really good. This is Sam. Hope you enjoy this and we'll talk again soon.